What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. It's your boy Uncommon Sense here coming at you again with another mobile problem. Today's fragrance review is going to center around the house of Zerjoff. You know what time it is. You know why y'all here. And you know what we're about to do. We're about to get into this thing. Let's go. Chicago summertime as we know it has come and gone I feel like I'm doing an ode to all of my aquatic type of fragrances and I got to get them in before you know the season is over I still wear my fragrances year-round regardless of their intended season it's just that I've noticed a lot of them don't have the performance and projection that they would they were being worn in their proper season with that being said though I'm flexible I'm adaptable I remember I said lessons of flexibility, right? This is kind of one of those things. Zerjoff Mephisto. Zerjoff Mephisto gets compared to Creed Silver Mountain Water. And I've not experienced Silver Mountain Water enough to really give a full comparison. I've also heard other reviewers and fragrance enthusiasts saying that this fragrance comes off inky, has an inky accord or inky note. I don't necessarily get that. I do get something a bit metallic in the opening. I do notice a quality difference in Zerjoff against some of my other aquatics. One, I got it for a good price. That's one. I got it for a really good price. And as my collection has grown to over 120 bottles, I've begun to focus on smaller bottles. I got a 30 ml from fragrancebuy.ca for less than 100 bucks. Hey, Hello. I am so excited about that. The only thing that I was a little disappointed at was the fact that the bottle presentation didn't come with a tassel. Again, I told y'all, I can be a little baby. I can be very particular about what I like, what I want. I've seen the fragrance and I've seen it have the tassel on it. That's just kind of the association I recall having. So, eh, I, I was just, <laughs> I was just a bit over that. Other than that, it's a stellar fragrance to me. Presentation comes in kind of an encyclopedia or book volume style where you pull it out with a tab. Deep, dark blue bottle with a gold top screams regality. And that's how you get my attention. I really feel like this fragrance is a gentleman's staple. A refined gentleman. And I, I hold myself to that title and esteem. To be a refined gentleman. So I definitely felt like, hey, my collection would never be complete if I didn't have this. I feel like the money was well spent. The scent trail that it leaves is, to, in my opinion, it's modest at this point. I do have on a long sleeve t-shirt and it's, what, 70 degrees in Chicago. So it's still kind of warm, but I'll be in an air conditioned environment. Projection is moderate at best, but the fragrance itself, Citrus. It's very zesty. It actually smells like the skin of a lime or lemon bergamot. It actually smells like the skin of fresh fruit versus the juice. Now the zest and juiciness of the fruit is present. It's just not as in my face at this moment as the, the what I smell to be the root of the fruit. <laughs> you like that rhyme, didn't you? This one is very well blended though. I can't say I can just dissect it. I know that there is a good amount of citrus and fruit in this one. Um, there is something a little metallic. I can pick that up. I would say a little salty. So that kind of makes some sense as well. But that's just the opening. So in the top, we have in the mid we have in the base we have and that's going to be the dope breakdown 
I sprayed it on maybe about 30 or so minutes ago. Started my day off with a fragrance that I enjoy. Kind of helps set the mood. Kind of like getting dressed for the day. As you guys may or may not be able to tell, I'm finally back to looking like a human being again. Got me a retwist and um, everything is right in the world. Just need to shave up a little bit and then we'll be ready for action. Like Mr. Cheek said, time for some action. Getting back to the fragrance. As far as the quality of this fragrance, I think it's unmatched. This is probably one of the best quality fragrances that I own. On my niece journey, I've had some ups and I've had some downs. I really feel like this one is a step in the right direction. There are a few more in the Zerge Off collection that I am amped to try. Now, as far as the presentation, the presentation, in my opinion, is a 9 out of 10 because it's missing that tassel. That tassel is required in order to keep me, in, in, keep me engaged. As far as the performance, I don't have a full experience of the performance wearing it all day. I did have experience with spraying it on my hand, and I remember that lasted a few hand washes, and it projected moderately. So longevity, I'm actually going to give longevity a 9 out of 10 in that regard because I do have that experience. We'll see how it wears on body. Is it a copper drop? I am definitely going to say it's a copper. If you can find a 30 mil for less than $100, jump on it. I don't think you've ever found a 100 mil for less than 100 bucks. I just, it's just not happening. Uh, surge off is, to me, at this particular point in time, setting the standard on what a quality fragrance is. Play. I've not received any compliments on it yet. Like I said, this is my first time wearing it, and to be quite honest with you, <laughs> I, I, I don't receive many compliments these days because I'm not around anybody really. I, I, I guess I gotta base that on how I feel about it because I'm the only one who's really smelling me and, and you know, letting, <laughs> giving me feedback really unless I'm going around friends and family. But no play on it yet, but again, I this is one that I thoroughly enjoy. and. One thing I've not been doing is I've not been wearing certain fragrances in the evening. I'm getting more inclined to wear fragrances that are either nighttime fragrances or are for the evening versus cycling through my collection. But that's one thing I'm doing a bit more of is cycling through my collection and giving folks a full wearing. I've also, I did about 10 to 15 sprays of this one, one because it's an aquatic, Aromatic fougere, and like I said, it's, it's it's an aquatic for sure. So those types of fragrances tend to burn off a little quicker on my skin, so I go a little heavier on the trigger. It depends. Some folks will tell you you don't need all that. I honestly think I know what's best for me and my skin. It's been in my experience that three and four sprays of aquatics is we're wasting time. Especially given the size of my collection, I'm getting more and more concerned about my fragrances going bad or turning. There's nothing more that I would be more angry about than to have a collection full of fragrances that have turned. That would suck, especially having a lot of them. So I've been thinking more and more about decanting and setting up a little site where I can offer some to some individuals that want to smell a few fragrances. So that may be worth my while to go ahead and set up a decant list or something of that nature. So I really feel like my experience with this fragrance has been positive and I'm gonna actually loop back around once we wrap the day to see what's changed in the day. Matter of fact, call to action. Drop me a comment in the chat below. Let me know, have you experienced Zerjoff's Mephisto? What do you think about it? My skin just kind of chews certain fragrances up. It's like they don't even stand a chance. Or it could be a Nosmic to it. I'm not sure. But I don't think I am because I feel like as I've grown, my nose has grown with me. You know, as, as my fragrance knowledge has grown, my nose has improved and I can start to really detect and separate certain notes, especially specific ones. If they're accurate, what I want to leave you guys with today, I've gotten into the role or the mode of providing some feedback in terms of life lessons. What I will say is I've been, even in this time of social distancing, 
if you can, the individuals who you like to spend time with and who support you, who love you, etc., draw as close to those individuals as you can. The individuals that you want to keep close, stay close to them. Whether that's being a, a little bit more active socially, whether it's even social distancing, call and text, and etc. I know that I protect my energy big time and I cannot have a lot of social interaction if it is not meeting my standard of what I need it to be. I'm not willing to dwell in spaces that are unproductive, that are negative, that are limiting. I, I just can't. I'm, I'm too big of a personality for that. I just cannot be contained and closed, etc. So individuals who have room and space for me to be my 100% authentic self are the people and spaces that I gravitate to. Those are the individuals that I consistently want to spend time with and individuals that support me. And I'm certain there's a lot of individuals in my life that don't feel as positive about the things that I'm doing are going to pay off. And those individuals, I kind of just have to push them back a little bit and, and, and allow more space for individuals who are supportive, regardless of what they feel, believe, or can see. So those are the type of individuals I actually find myself spending more time with. Dreamers, creators, creatives. Those are the type of folks that I feel a beckoning for. So for all my creatives out there, spend your time wisely. And I would definitely say take up with individuals who will feed your vision, whether it's holding you accountable, whether it's just encouraging you, whether it's simple as asking questions about what you said you're passionate about. I found that to be so valuable for folks who either, either ask questions or remember things you've said and follow up and be like, okay, so how's your sneaker line doing? Or what you got going on on the, on the creative fashion tip? Like, what are your next steps? Did, have you finished the collection? Just individuals who've expressed interest, not necessarily individuals who are pushing you along or anything like that. Now, if it gives you a push, great. But I'm not the type of individual that really needs to be pushed into anything. I can be very rebellious. So once I feel like I'm being pushed, I push back. And that can come up in multiple forms, whether it's telling you less, backing you out of my business, whatever, the, <laughs> whatever it is. But individuals who actively just want to inquire and give support, I make room for that. In the past, I've had the propensity to be so self-sufficient and closed off that it makes it can, that it can make it challenging for individuals to support me because I feel like I don't need it because I just got it. When in fact, it's a defense mechanism to be a little, a little more reserved and guarded so that I can protect my energy and my vision of what I see and what I want my future to look like, especially as a creative. So I said all that to say individuals that support you, love you, give you that creative fuel, draw near to them. Even in social distancing, if that means checking, calling, texting, etc., be respective of, the, of other individual space and be receptive to how individuals tell you and show you what they need from you or what they expect from you in terms of communication. It doesn't do any good for you to consistently call an individual who is not responsive to a call. Meet an individual where they're at. If you want to be in an individual's life, you kind of got to meet them where they're at. If you've seen or experienced that, oh, I only get a response when I text, meet them where they're at. You know what I mean? Like if, if it's important to you for them to be in your life, meet them where they are because I promise you it goes a long way. If you meet me where I'm at, I'm going to meet you where you're at. Like I'm not a big phone person, a big phone person these days. I spent a lot of time in HR recruitment and selection. So I'm averse to being on the phone for long periods of time. It annoys me to be on the phone. I'd rather do video chat or I'd rather do text. You know, especially if what we're talking about is going to be in spurts, message me because I'm able to get a lot of other things done while messaging and still having the lines of communication open. So I'm flexible that way. But I'm just not about 
long periods of time being on the phone if we are not actively achieving something. I'd rather you come sit in my presence or we sit in each other's presence or do a video call or something like that because at least you get the benefit of seeing. So that's my spiel. I'm not going to go any further. And again, I'd like to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with me out of your day and ride along with Uncommon Sense. And What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Uncommon Sense Fam. I want to come at you guys with an update for today on the fragrance I wore to work. That's Zerjoff from Fisto. This is an absolute star. So glad I got this fragrance in my arsenal. It lasted roughly about six and a half ish hours. It projected nicely for like the first three and a half, four. It's still on my skin. I just got to kind of tuck in and get a whiff of it, but then again, I have a long sleeve t-shirt and a tank underneath, so, but I can smell whiffs of it here and there. Man, I am ecstatic that I bought this fragrance, especially, like I said, I got the 30 mil for like 80 bucks, something like that. It was less than 100, and I feel like that's actually, it's such a quality fragrance, nothing cheap about it. Scent, scent, price, none of that. So, for as far as price, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It's a little on the pricier side in my opinion. It's an older brand. It came out in, and I really feel like, regardless of when it came out, it's an old school powerhouse. It, it's not dated smelling. It's, I love it. I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. It performed well. I will be interested to see what it does in the heat, but like I said, there's only like 70, ish degrees today and I was inside a cool air conditioned environment so not necessarily sure how it will perform if I was like out now. So this actually is one I, that I should have took with me when I went out of town to Atlanta because I would have a better idea of what the performance would be like in the heat heat. And I hit the gold man. I love when I try out a fragrance and it's a win. Like this is a complete W in my opinion. I'm so excited about it. So yeah, um, y'all don't mind me. I got my old man thing going on, but like I told you guys, I got a retwist. I'm happy about that. Like I was just looking, I was looking super duper thrown away, and I had to freshen my color again after after having having my red in for a while. It tended to fade, so it's looking a bit more refreshed these days. But I've noticed that you know. When you refresh your color, you know, I have to really keep shampooing it to get the excess color out. Now my locks feel super duper like airy and light, like I, they don't have that life they had. This is a product in my hair. And a lot of folks that have locks, they oh, you're supposed to keep that up, you're not supposed to use petrolated based products because that causes buildup. Listen, I know my hair, and for the sake of everything, my hair would have never locked without a product in it. So I do what works for me. And that's another piece of my advice. Do what works for you. Nobody's rules are gonna be as applicable to your life as the rules you have for yourself, especially what you've learned and realized works for you. So I'm gonna encourage all of my creators, all my people in general, continue to march to the beat of your own drum, especially for stuff that's been working for you. Rock that shit. I'm definitely feeling the seasons changing because it feels like time kind of went slow, knowing full and well it didn't. And also too, today's probably the first time in a long time that I've gotten off on time. So, but it felt like today was like a super duper long day and it really wasn't, but I'm thankful nonetheless. And I hope you guys are blessed as well. And as always, you guys know I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. So again, it's been your man's Uncommon Sense. Zerjoff Mephisto gets compared to Creed's Virgin Island Water. What? It kind of comes, I had to swerve to avoid a pothole. I've also heard things about this fragrance coming off of milk. Uh, I've also what? heard there are a few more in the, in the, there are, that's the only thing I really have to gauge a lot of. <laughs> especially with a collection my size, especially with the collection All in all, 
bumpy, like I told y'all. This raggedy like your drive. See all yeah, this noise. All in all, I really feel with that being said, I'm not able to dwell in spaces that are pot express the deepest. I'm not, I can, I, I've, and I've handed on into the job.